Alabama Senator Greg Albritton is the man Dunaway mentioned that is spearheading that new bill. He's with us on the JohnsonRVCenter.com hotline. Good morning, Greg. How are you? I'm doing great. How are y'all doing? Doing wonderful. Thanks a lot. You know this well. You're not the first person to try to uh, to get a bill like this through the state of Alabama. They have all failed one recently. What what do you think makes yours different that, that gives it a chance? Uh, one is the digital side of it. Uh, this is the first one where we've actually included uh, regulation and, and gaining and benefit from the fantasy uh, sports, the uh, sports betting that's going on, and the sports gaming, and also online gaming. We have actually uh, looked looked at ways to improve and get control of that industry, and this, this is one of them that's just out there running around, and we need to take a part of that. Well, inevitably, this is going to happen. I mean, since 2018, we've had legalized gambling in America. 30 states now, as you know these numbers, in D.C., it's legal. Over 100 million Americans are gambling right now. Just revenue-wise, how much can we generate for the state if we're able to pass this? If we pass the bill that I have uh, presented, the estimates are from 750 to $800 million per year. But, but, but those are old numbers. If you look at New York State, that's had gaming regulations for a number of years, uh, just uh, January 1st, they went into sports uh, gaming and controlling and regulating that and, and of course, taxing it. Uh, the reports came out recently. Uh, they, the state, took in $80 million in the first 30 days. And they don't even have the iron bowl. <laughs> uh, and, and that's a great point i mean most of us or everybody on this show anyway grew up around here uh there have been gambling going on on sporting events i used to see my granddad do it when we'd go to nick's bar right on the you know dry county in shelby county we'd drive he'd drive to get a beer in jefferson county and place a bet with a bookie all under the table there Bring it out in the open. I, do you, is there any numbers that show how much gambling Alabamians do right now, both illegally or driving to Mississippi or somewhere else to do it? Very limited. Very limited on that. There are no good numbers as to uh, what we're uh, participating in, how this industry has grown or how much is taking place. My bill would fix that. This bill would put every gaming uh, activity under the umbrella, and it would require uh, the reporting. It would require the the, the uh, infrastructure to be there, the regulation, make sure there's no cheating, uh, and um, tax it. I mean, uh, you're right. This is an industry that's alive and well in Alabama. Alabama Senator Greg Albritton is with us. He uh, represents the southwestern portion of the state of Alabama and has introduced a bill that would, uh, as he talks about, bring – uh, all the forms of gambling under one umbrella. I, I want to go back to your, your answer to my first question it, and, and make sure I understand this correctly. He's on the johnstonrvcenter.com hotline, by the way. The, the original bill that recently failed, if I want to place a bet here in Birmingham, I had to go to the Birmingham race course to place a sports bet. What you're saying is your bill, I could have an app on my phone to do it, say with DraftKings or FanDuel or any other, you know, Caesars, whoever, or go online and do it. Do I understand that correctly? Is that the big difference? Well, it's not that big of a difference, unfortunately. Uh, I've I've worked on a policy that would, or a a bill that would allow, have more openness in that regard. Uh, But uh, right now, the bill that we've agreed to on a consensus puts it tethered. Uh, Everything will be tethered. Uh, Now, that's that's a matter so that we can get a control of uh, things right away. Um, Define tethered. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can can you define tethered real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's where, like you said, if you're going to do a sports game, okay. you've got to go to a site or go through a site to to uh, make that uh, wager. Okay. Yeah. For instance, the, say we'll use the Birmingham race course in Birmingham. They, you would have to go there to place your sports bet or use the Birmingham race course app to place a sports bet. That's as I understand it, the way we have it right now. Okay. okay. All right. Makes so, sense. So we've had the opportunity to vote on a lottery before, and I know that's just one element here. Um, but what do you think has been the biggest sticking point over the years? Is it just we are the buckle of the Bible Belt? Well, that's part of it. I, I, that, that is, a um, um, thank goodness, a good part of it. Um, but, no, it's because we've got so many, so much of it going on. We've got so many hands in the pie. Everybody wants a greater piece of the pie. It's called greed. 
<laughs> and and uh, everyone does. No one wants us to do this. That will take away from them. Greene County has I, we don't know how many, but I think we have six casinos there with a brand new one opening up next month. We have um, uh, people that that's we shut down several folks where the people have come in and, and just opened a place and put machines in, and we don't know who they are or what they are, but they're illegal. We come in. Sometimes we shut them down. Sometimes we don't find them. Is this? Um, you, we've got. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm Senator. Sorry, but, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, we've got every state around us that does not want us to put this in the open. Every state around us likes gaining Alabama money. We've got uh, the competitors that have their own interests that are fighting each other, and that's kind of where I'm. Why we have this consensus bill? We believe we got most operators uh, okay with where we're headed. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just interested. Uh, the people that will actually do the voting on this, your colleagues and some some adversaries, uh, are you getting support from both sides of the aisle, or is this is it down party lines, or are we crossing aisles? Is every, you know, do you find friends in in all places working with you on this? This bill is just like the rest of the gaming. It uh, it doesn't matter who or what or color or religion or anything. Everybody's involved in it. And, yes, I've got uh, across the aisle. Uh, the biggest difficulty I've got principally are those folks that do not want to expand gaming. But now, listen, the, the biggest expansion of gaming we could do in Alabama is the lottery. Everybody wants a clean lottery. Well, if you want gaming at every crossroads, at every uh, – uh, gas station, just put a lottery in. That's going to be the biggest, biggest expansion. And yet, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to, that's going to be the least amount of money we get anyway from this. Right. Uh, but anyway, that, that's uh, is the fear of, of what the, the traditionalists think of or what gaming is or is not. Well, look, you, you know this. We all know this. If, if, if you want to gamble, look, I gambled, I guess, illegally just the other night, and people yes. are going to yes. do it. They're just going to do it, and they've been doing it for years. So we're 175 days away from college football kicking off. Give me your gut feel. Uh, so less than six months. Do you think this will be legalized and we can actually go on an app or we can go to one of these five casinos and legally wager in the state of Alabama before the kickoff of the college football season? Uh, if my bill passes the way it is, we will be able to have most of that in place, I believe, by August. And what what I do here is I'm approaching it differently. I'm trying to set the commission up right away and to take charge of that activity that is already going on, that is already happening. We're not establishing a lottery right away. We're not establishing a, a compact right away. We're not even establishing any casinos uh, out there. What we're doing is we're identifying what's going on, and we're taxing that. That includes the sports gaming. If I can get that done the way I've got it written in, then, yes, we will have this in place by August to, to uh, participate legally and to tax it. You said seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred million dollars, and that might be on the low end, just projections of what we can make here. And I know you don't have to get specific on this, but where do you think that that allotted money, that seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred million a year would go? Well, I can tell you the the in Alabama in our financial standing, we are doing pretty doggone well right now. But we still have needs that 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 are years plagued, and that most of that's mental health. We shut down all our mental health facilities. We don't. We have poor training. We have uh, underpaid staff. We've got to resurrect the mental health treatments and facilities in Alabama. This is the means that we have to be able to take care of that specific need. Now, there's other needs out there, but that's the most pressing. Uh, I know you need to go. Can you walk quickly through a timeline? So you've proposed this bill. I think there are 12 days left in the session, if I read that correctly last night. So what is the timeline here? Well, uh, you have to remember now, I have my rose-colored glasses. I'm, I'm an optimist because <laughs> I think I'm right okay? right, okay? So my goal is to put this in the committee uh, on Tuesday, All right. to get it out of committee on Tuesday. And I hope to be able to get it to the floor on Wednesday. And I hope, and I, I believe I have the uh, 
pretty certain of the votes I got. I hope I can get more votes and send it down to the House with a large Senate vote and do that on Wednesday. The House will have it on Thursday. Now, that's where the sticker is. We've done this two or three times before, and the House has sat on it. And they're threatening to do that this time also. Boo. We need we need the people to get to the House leadership and say, give it a vote. Now, I think the least you can do is vote on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Whether you yeah, vote yes exactly. or no, the least, it, the least it deserves is a vote. Yes. Yeah. Give it a hearing at least. Yeah, Pull it yeah. up. They've never even pulled it up to the floor. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a, you're an optimist. I like an optimist. Uh, Senator Greg Albritton, <laughs> I know you're a busy man. We greatly appreciate the time you've given us today. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Senator Greg Albritton serves uh, down in the Baldwin County area, southwest Alabama, but obviously this would cover all of Alabama. 